Nothing like building the carburetor on the side of the road and a whole high. Just an easy Friday afternoon around here at Papa Darty's house. What are you doing, Jim? You resting? I'm supervising. You're supervising? Yeah. Head supervisor here. What are you doing, Jim? Taking off the shifter. Taking off the top of the transmission so we can see the dust mites fly <laughs> out of this thing. <laughs> yeah. Because right. there's no oil in it. Yikes. Does half of a half of a washer count? Yeah, half. Well, yeah, half counts for something. Failure. <laughs> so we got it running. The distributor's throwing a fit. I don't have the short shaft to make the short shaft distributor. I brought work. Has a long shaft distributor in it. So Tesseray's bringing that on the airplane. So I'm getting ready to pack up to go meet Merlin. He's parts. So I'm gonna pack this uh, fan, fully attached, and bring him a distributor rod because the one that's currently on there is not right. I think I'll just put it in my Ford bag. I'm picking her up in Indianapolis on Sunday at two o'clock. And uh, I didn't want to cut this distributor up to make that shaft because I may need this in a pinch. So I've got it running good enough that it'll get us down the road. But uh, yeah, we're gonna look in that transmission because there's no oil in it. Check the differential out. And then we got to majorly grease everything. But other than that, we're really close. I did put another water pump on because this one's spinning a bushing. It would probably run. It's a leakless pump, they call it. But uh, it had that bushing spinning in it. So, I don't know. We're just grinding away. Jimmy did get tubes in a couple of the tires. A couple of them hold air okay, so I'm not too worried about it. But uh, we'll get the spare put on. I think it's good. It's got air in it. And then I do have a couple extra tubes for the road. I got two. So they're just motorcycle tubes, but I'll probably, I don't know, I'll probably wad one of these up and take it with me too, just in case, because tubes are hard to come by these days. But yeah, it's going to be a long ways to Arizona in that, but I'm looking forward to it. I know Derek over at Vice Grip Garage, he did like 700 plus miles in one, and I know he's had so much fun, he's done it again a few times and he's gonna do it again I guess. You gotta show him the transmission. Why? Just you gotta show him. Why is it that bad? It's no it's actually surprisingly good for how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just dry. No there's water in it. Dry dry dry. Water? I don't know whatever that is down there. Mystery fluid. Oh there's a little bit of oil in it. A little tiny bit of oil in the bottom. Just little, enough huh? Just no not even enough. <laughs> like but it is slinging oil, so just have to keep it from grenading. That kind of cancels my my thought that the noise could be coming out of the transmission. Gears all look good, so we'll put some more oil in that, and then uh, we'll probably end up switching the top out on this other one because it's chrome and chrome is cool. And we'll take this thing for a test ride later, make sure we're getting on the right path. I don't even know what time it is. We have hammered on this car all day. Jimmy got the wheels mounted up. I got the cylinder head on, the oil pan on. We took the transmission apart and inspected it, changed the top on it. We're going to cut a floorboard section out. We replaced screws around the windshield frame. Look at Jimmy. Jimmy's whooped. I'm beat. Not as bad as you were when you got off the nope. river. <laughs> Jim Sr. got the box done. We got our Don't Smash Into Me Triangle and our Ohio 31 plate on. We'll probably load a few things in that and truck around in the morning, but uh, right now we're just done. So we're going to turn in, get up, hit it at 6 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow's the last day I have to work on the car, make sure everything's worked out. So we're going to cruise it around Ohio and we fixed the gas gauge. So we got to fill it up with fuel, make sure that doesn't leak and uh, 
get a rear view mirror on this side and we'll mount it on that tire with a hose clamp and then we're going to wash the car probably the first wash it's had in i don't know how long 20 years 30 but years. uh we'll get it cleaned up clean the white walls up real nice with the tires looking good and uh head for indianapolis on sunday out this morning Chuck frogs coming out of the woods because it's dry underneath of the canopy still a little bit dark anyway today we're going to get the uh floor mat there cut put in this car we'll get it clean the rain helps with a little of that and then go for a test drive drive it around today okay ohio weather sucks <laughs> officially so it's raining like crazy can you see can you see anything sure are you just driving by braille yes in the rain always <laughs> So we're uh, we're gonna go find some shelter, and then probably some lunch, and then I don't know. I wish this rain had quit, but uh, I think I might have to drive all the way to Havasu in this. We uh, we're headed for a little store right now that Tim Miller told us about. Tim's the guy I got the Model A from. Tim and Jen. Um, peace and grease anyway um, it's called rural king and uh, I guess it's a tractor supply on steroids now I'm gonna say something we got a tractor supply in Havasu and it sucks went into a tractor supply out here and it rocks yeah Havasu take note your tractor supply sucks it ain't got nothing I'm amazed the products they carry out here but anyway we're going to rural king so yeah, tractor supply, step up your game. We're gonna show you your competition. <laughs> That's right. Pulled up here at Rural King. Let's go in here and check this place out. Popcorn. Where do we good. where do we start? This I place is huge. They got jeans for 11 bucks. Dude, they got everything in here. All right, we're gonna walk around this place and find us some goodies. Okay, now I'm lost. What did we come here for? Flags and mirrors. Mirrors. There's just too much stuff here. This this place does rock. You're right, Tim. This place, uh, that tractor supply can't compare to this. There's Jimmy. Yeah. How'd we do? We did great. We, we kept it under budget. Under budget. What the <laughs> hell was our budget? <laughs> I don't know. Not to empty our wallets. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we didn't buy zero turn lawnmower. Or, or a tractor. They got tractor we, uh, there. we did get our flag. We didn't find our mirror. We was looking for a rear view mirror. I did find a bracket that'll make this junk mirror I got work. So we're going to mount it on the spare tire. And then uh, I don't know. I got me some uh, pretty nice jeans. I mean, it was 30 bucks for three pair. Can't beat that. But uh, we'll get our flag on. We'll get our mirror on. But right now, we're on our way to Frisch's Big Boy. We're going to get a Big Boy with onion rings. And we'll drink Pepsi till this dang weather quits. All right, we're here at Frisch's Big Boy in Lebanon, Ohio. It's kind of Lebanon, right? Yes. What is it, uh, Wayne Wayne Townships North? Yep. Anyway, yeah, I'm lost. I'm all spun around, but it's raining still, and we're getting us a Frisch's, Frisch's Big Boy Burger. What does it have on it? Tartar sauce? Tartar sauce. And cheese. Cheese, uh, and double, double meat. Yep, double cheese, double meat. Pickles. And you get tartar sauce and onion rings, and I had coleslaw, and Jimmy's doing the mellow yellow. It's good eating, I'm telling you. Every time I've come to Ohio, it's like, Jimmy, we're going to Frisch's for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time. This is the official unofficial test drive, so 
since we went through the motor and put the head on and checked out the oil pan and Jimmy was in the transmission. It stopped raining long enough. Yeah, it stopped raining long enough because our wiper doesn't work very good. Yeah, what am I going to do for a wiper tomorrow? I don't know. Jimmy says that's a tomorrow problem. <laughs> um, anyway, we're going to go try it with these tires and see how she rolls. Hopefully they're not too flat, spotted. And uh, see how much we picked up putting that cylinder head on. We got a floor mat in here now. Cut that out of me a, a Home Depot rug. Oh, this thing's not staying up. This is I need to put a screw in that or something. Anyway, key on, timing retarded. Fuel on. <laughs> Break off. Look at that. She's a cruiser already. What are we doing? Five mile an hour? This <laughs> bomber works. Yes, well, it works. I'd like you to film. This is too much fun. <laughs> Got my don't run me over sign. Don't run me over. Uh oh. Doggone it. No, no, no. I, it, oh, I, it, fell, it off. fell off in my hand. Okay. I just put it in there. Cool. Yeah, we'll have to uh, bend the tabs out. The only one we didn't touch. Probably was. <laughs> yeah, you got to bend like four of those little tabs, otherwise they uh, fall right off. They do. They just fall off. Cool. Well, I'm going to take a couple pictures and then we're going to head on down the road. We just got back from what? Probably 20 miles? Yeah. That's a good 20 mile loop, right? Yeah. We had Solid. some uphill, downhill. Really steep uphill. Really steep downhill. Yeah, those were a couple of, and it pulled good. It just, it did everything it's supposed to do. The brakes feel good. The thing drives, out like it just don't rattle or squeak or nothing. It's cool. It is about 50 miles an hour. Old Derek from Vice Grip Garage, he was right. You need not be in a hurry when you get behind the wheel of a Model A. <laughs> so 2300 miles to Havasu here we go let me know in the comments if you think I'll make it <laughs> <laughs> right let me know let me know where you think I'll be loading her on the trailer at we'll get her started you, you can't believe who showed up here <laughs> in Ohio yeah <laughs> what are you doing brother uh, I'm Dude, how many miles so far we're at 5,000 like 50 5,050. Yeah. How much rain? Well, Be look, honest look, with look you. Look at the rain. See <laughs> yeah. the rain? How much rain? Well, two days of it. <laughs> two days. Okay, so no. I'm here with Jimmy's stepmom, Barb. And uh, we're here in this cabin. How long have you lived in this cabin? 48 years. 48 years. Check this out. Look at, the, look at these collections. Look at this collection. of. Look at these irons. How many irons do you have, Barb? I have no idea. You don't even know. I mean, there are some. There are some really cool ones. So look at this cabin. What year was this cabin built? Uh, 1825. 1825. So we're standing in a. We're standing in a home that is 
1825. It, no, yeah, yeah. In two years, this will be 200 years old. This, this home. It is so cool. Look at all this. Where do you collect all this stuff at? Mostly secondhand stores and yard sales. I just want to touch this. I just want to touch this 200 year old wood. It's pretty cool. Well, I'm going to get my stuff ready and get ready to head for Arizona. Thank right. you for doing my laundry and putting up with me. You're I appreciate the hospitality and I can't wait to come back and stay again. Well, we're looking forward to it. Thank you. Enjoy your company. Mr. Darty, yes, sir. Thank you for making that box for me. Well, you're quite welcome. Thank you for letting me rebuild this Model A in your driveway. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to have you guys here. You know that. I appreciate it, man. I got her all packed up, so uh, we're getting ready to head out. I'll pick Desiree up here in a little bit, and uh, so, Jimmy Senior, Jimmy, are going to come and go tour the museum with me, and follow me for that first uh, couple hundred mile leg there and probably tow me out of the road a couple of times hopefully not but we'll get the rest of the tools cleaned up around here and uh be on our way all right so we're getting started here we got the car sitting here and uh you won't believe who showed up Bob, how did you get yourself all the way out here to ohio uh lack of brains mostly <laughs> so all in ohio so I got two electricians here. Oh, right. uh, Bob was the one that wired my shop. Oh, yeah. So he's been my electrician buddy for, I don't know, how long we've been friends? Probably over 20 years. Yeah, I think ever since I've lived in Havasu. So yeah. obviously we got Tim, Tim Miller here. This was his grandpa's car. Jen and uh, Senior. So what we're doing, we're heading to Indianapolis. I got to pick up my wife. She flies in today. But we're all going to the uh, Indianapolis uh, Race Museum. And then uh, Bob is going to run with us for, what are you going to hang, a day or so? A day. Okay. And, and then go uh, Tim and Jen, <laughs> they're going to run with us uh, today, and then they'll probably head back tonight or tomorrow. But basically, this is my support team for day one to make sure Grandpa Merle's car makes it to Indianapolis safely. Well, Jimmy, it feels good to have a little backup team behind us. Right. You know, if you got if you got backup support, nothing can go you'll, wrong. You'll never need them. That's yep. right. It's when you're out there all alone on the yep. road. Middle, and, of, middle of Kansas, nowhere, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Don't say that because I'm going to be in the middle of Kansas <laughs> with nobody. That's right. So hopefully we uh, have the bugs worked out of it by then, and uh, we're just trucking. So yeah cruising out of Lebanon here and what is it 120 miles in three hours. Yep. <laughs> that's not a lot of ground. <laughs> that's 40 miles an hour average, right? Well, we just stopped here to check this old schoolhouse out. See how the old car's doing. But uh just saw some cool old tractor equipment and stuff. But uh check out this old schoolhouse. Israel Township. Nineteen fifteen. This building is pretty cool. The building's over a hundred years old. Pretty awesome. So yeah, we just wanted to check out some cool stuff. Make sure everybody's rocking and rolling. That big church, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I see this. I said, look at that. Yeah, it's old schoolhouse. Man, I was like, build them like I used to. Yeah, it? I know. That's a, a 1915. That thing's 100 years old. So they took pride in their brick laying right there. Yeah. All righty. So we left the Israel schoolhouse. It's walking distance from here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I forgot to turn the fuel on, honestly, but uh, I don't know. It rolled to a stop. I got no spark or something. You want to check the spark, Jimmy? Hold it. Got plenty of spark. Go ahead. 
Crank it. So, Tim warned me about the fuel system, and uh, we put the we put the cigarette filter. It's a system, Tim. Uh, it's uh, we put a cigarette filter in the tank. We have the sediment bowl, and then we have a secondary filter. But I don't know. We might be uh, getting a little bit of gunk in the carburetor, and it plugged up the stuck the needle and seat. I don't know what else to think, but you know what? If you open up the window and reach your arm in there while it's driving, just yeah, tap I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, get the right. get the little hammer and tap on the carburetor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's rounded. He enough. can sit out on the fender and I tap on there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take the hood off and hey, strap it on Tim's take, truck. Put that to there, there you, go. you got safe. That's right. That's that right. hood comes off oh, easy. We'll put it on yeah. Tim's truck and we'll just let Jimmy sit under here and tune it as we couple. Put the windshield all the way out. Reach forward, lean out. Yeah. All right. Well, I Good guess showing, we'll. Huh? I guess we'll try it again. I don't know. We might make it another. Another couple yards. Hundred yards down here. So I think old Merle's giving us fits here. I'm gonna have to pull that carburetor apart. I think we've gunked up in the bottom of the carburetor. Let Bob do some filming here. I think we're getting plenty of fuel. We're just plugged up in the carb. Don't make no sense. So we're gonna do the craziest thing that you never want to do on the side of the road and pull the carburetor apart. If anybody's gonna rebuild the carburetor on the side of the road, it's gonna be more like it's like got water on it. Is that water you think? Yeah. No, there's a little bit of water in there, but it uh it definitely got some sediment. But it's not filling up, that's the problem. I don't know if that has the filter in it or not. I have you man the oh, fuel. Yep. I'm gonna wash this thing out. Okay. Sorry about the dead grass, Ohio. We got a little plenty. bit more. Good. Yeah, yeah you're. Like got a problem with you that. got plenty to mow. Jefferson, they probably never seen so much pain. Plenty of venturi and everything. Okay. Now one more test. Watch this. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's not good. Is it on? But it, no uh, oh, that's a problem. Did you find it? Yeah, the needle, the needle and seat fell out of it. What's happened is this thing's vibrated out. <laughs> and it closed it off. It closed that, it off. It was that railroad track. You yeah. yeah. <laughs> that railroad track. <laughs> Grandpa Merle said, slow down over them railroad tracks, son. <laughs> Middletown 55. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. She said, he's going to ramp this one. <laughs> uh, we ramped it, That's all right. Rough, At least we know we're not dealing with uh, fuel filters yet. Luckily, we do I'm have a problem. But... There we go. Now it's working like it says. So basically, I had no travel in this float. It just it came out. It's so great. probably back there when I tapped on the carburetor, we off. got enough fuel in it. Plus, it was sitting there leaking past. Yeah. Yeah. And then we made it what? Around the Seven. corner? 700 feet? 200, 300. <laughs> So yeah, we'll uh, put the old carburetor back together here. Nothing like building the carburetor on the side of the road in a building this computer. Oh, well, together we can make a comment about not losing any parts. That was impressive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because Jimmy's like looking at this grass going, you know, I've seen you pull stuff out of the sand, but this is the grass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, stuff disappears awful fast. Boy, 
high boy is kind of it was my dad it was one of my dad's trucks okay is that actual truck no i wish oh. um so we used to poach a lot of firewood yeah. and i mean Shut poach off. my dad would he'd buy a 15 dollar permit and cut wood for a year and a half okay. and uh sell it yeah. Give it to the ladies in the church, yeah. single moms and grandmas and widows and anyway, <laughs> we were out cutting firewood. I was six years old and the truck was quite a ways away and he said, hey, you and your brother go get that truck and bring oh, it down mobile. here. Big mobile. Yeah, so I fired that old 390 up and stuck her in a granny low and low range and we idled up to where the wood was and loaded it up. and. You know, it's one of those things you never forget, right? So, I uh, I never cared for Fords as a kid growing up, honestly. I always wanted a Chevy, a square body Chevy. They were just cool as hell, right? But uh, I came across that one in Dan's Auto Salvage. I bought it from him five years ago. I just finally went and got it. You guys go get all that uh, stuff in one day? Yeah, that was. We did that in one day. <laughs> that was. I, I we was we were even laughing. We were like, watching. dude, that was one of them that, get up early yeah, days, you yeah. know that? damn thing I think you can get a hold of these days. Around here where those uh, 60s is... Pretty funny, you can do most of that with your hand. Yeah. Like, you literally a wrench for this and everything else just hand clips on. Okay, I'm confident now. Jimmy, yeah. turn that on. We have... We're off again. So I'm on my flight. Headed to Indiana Welcome to meet up with Merlin so that we can drive this car back across the country. See you soon. Well, that seems to have taken care of the fuel system. That needle and seat assembly fell out of the carburetor and got jammed in the float, so I don't know how it was getting fuel, but we've been driving for quite a ways probably like that. But once we stopped, it started showing its face, so it's probably a good thing. We, uh, we're definitely uh, making good time. We left a little early so that we would uh, be sure and make it. Cornfields for as far as you can see. This is the Indiana state line. This is? We're in Indiana right now. We That's are? We're Indiana cattle right there. We're in Indiana. We're in Indiana. So we We made it to Indiana. That's, uh, this is probably the first time this car has been out of the state in I don't know how many years, if ever. Do you think this is the first time this car's been out of the state in a while? Definitely. So it never went out of the state when you your family owned oh, it, right? From Dayton to Waynesville. Dayton to Waynesville. So this, this is the first time this car has ever been out of the state that he knows of. Yeah. And honestly, it probably went from Michigan to Ohio and it probably, it probably never, spent probably its whole never life. Left. So this is, uh, this is a milestone right here. Yep. That needle and seat seems to have fixed it. It's running good. Yep. Well, what's the name of this little town? Rushville. Rushville, Indiana. We've made it to Rushville so far. No more problems since we put that little thing back in. Look at my hat. I like this hat I picked up. Kind of fits the era, huh? <laughs> We're waiting for everybody else to catch up. My rear view mirror fell off, so there they come. Oh, Paul Poole went back to get it for me. Fast. And uh, we'll see if we can tape it back on. Well, we've made it to Indianapolis. We're five minutes from the airport. I got a fuel problem. So I'm gonna spend a minute here and we're gonna pull the seat out of this thing.
probably going to need you to put your thumb over that here in a second, but you ready? Yep. See, that's clean. I got a bunch of stuff there, but that's clean. Huh. It's bizarre. It is bizarre. Ready? Yep. Just a little mess here. If it's just uh, plugging up. Maybe we got a fuel screen plugged. Well, I'm thinking Desiree's airplane's probably about ready to land. Well, it looks pretty gnarly too. With everything they own. The dust. So we've been fighting this uh, fuel problem. It's pretty good when we're underway, but for some reason when we stop, it plugs up. I'm thinking the sediment's so fine, as long as we're shaking, it's going through. But as soon as we stop, it just plugs up. Jimmy, you want to do me a favor and turn the fuel on for a second? We'll uh, do us a quick rinse here. All right, I'm going to pull over and fill it up with gas, and then we'll get on. Well, we're here at our first fuel stop. See what kind of mileage we're getting. What the heck is this thing? Jimmy's here. Here's our cool little car we're going to be driving. The wife unit has landed. We are here at the airport picking her up. What are you doing? Coming to meet you. <laughs> you ready for a ride in a junk old car across the country? I guess. <laughs> Look at you. You must be tired. Hey, Hello. How are you? Good. Riding your motorcycle? Yeah. How about that surprise? I know. That's cool. Right, I know. He pulls up on my name, Bob. You find anyone. <laughs> Bob's our neighbor and he's just hanging out. <laughs> this is so funny. Mm. Yeah, we uh, met him in Ohio last night. And then uh, he went at Skyline Chili for his first time. All right. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Are you hungry first or museum first? Uh, hungry grindstone first. Charlie's. Well, way, Tim, Grindstone Charlie's. That's it. Was, was it any good? good? It was good. good. Yeah. Mine was good. How about it, Bob? It was great. You're yeah. all about I couldn't it. Couldn't eat it all. Totally. You had was soup. You don't count. <laughs> you don't count. Awesome. Either. All you had was soup. I had sour was too. <laughs> I had soup too, but it was potato, so it was good. And onion rings. All right. So now we're on our way to the Indianapolis Museum. Can we check to see if it's open? It is we're going yes. there. Okay. We're, we're going there. Yeah, we're going. They're we'll, letting us in. We'll, we'll be looking through we'll the freaking we'll, we'll get a tour before we get taken to jail. Yeah. That, that, might, be we, that, 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 that might be where we that might be where we meet the police oh here yeah. in Indiana. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> really good.
came up. This is so awesome. Well, I, I can't I, believe. I didn't even have this in my, I, 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 I this is my bucket list, but I never did, thought well, I'd do it today. I, I, I can't believe that uh, you were 15 minutes from me in Ohio and you're uh, two minutes away from me as a neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. no, it's, it's really cool, but this is a drop in the bucket. There's these oh. cars gone, there, there's 10, 15 times this. Really? This is just kind of the, the beginning. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be here at least an hour, so oh, yeah. No. Not too good. Really. We're dry in here, just so you know. Not really. I mean, Bob's looking for his rain gear. He's like, oh, this, this sucks. What about Bob? My rain gear's dry. <laughs> <laughs> Look how dry it is. Ah, uh, that's awesome. It's supposed to be dry. I get out and hold the umbrella so you can get dressed. Hey Bob, come over here and I'll hold that. I'm not getting out and standing under it with you, but I'll hold that right here so you get get your rain it's gear like on. I'm soaked underneath them. 100% chance of humidity right now? <laughs> yeah, it's 100% <laughs> chance of rain, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, you look him dry. It's just me and Bob. <laughs> you look a little better. He, he, I'm sure he feels better too. He got out of his rain gear back on the yeah. side of the road. I stopped for a second, but uh, we still have everybody with us. Jim and his dad headed back uh, uh, during the rainstorm. But uh, we, uh, I was just checking some things out here. We're doing good. We're almost to our next destination. Um, and we were just talking about miles. And this thing is about to turn over a thousand miles on the odometer so it had 732 when i bought it so i've put 270 268 miles on it yeah it's not made too many uh breakdowns it's done pretty other good. than that fuel system like it's it's really kind of i mean it runs good it stops good it's i mean you kind of knew the fuel was going to be a problem yeah i know okay. you know he said five six years with yeah. fuel in the tank yeah you that's why you buy filters right yeah Cool. Well, as soon as them girls get out of the breast room, we'll be trucking. That's the smell. That, that is the smell. That's, smell. that's what it is. That's what stinks. Um, yeah, be careful. That battery might blow up. Yeah. Um, that's what's been the smell the whole time. So very carefully. I'm putting the ground wire on that, but I don't want to get there because it could, it could blow up. Yeah, that battery might just be done. Uh, you really only need one battery in these things anyway. rolled into Corey Wheat oh, Customs. Yeah, and, uh, Corey and Hannah are showing us their collection here. Show and tell. But uh, yeah, this is cool. Cool stuff. the river and through the woods to Corey's super private stash here. This, this must be the good stuff, huh, Corey? Uh, I don't know. I'd say that probably is a little better stash. This is more the uglier stuff. Pretty awesome down here. Yeah, you need to move down here. Yeah, it's uh, too wintry for me. Yeah, it kind of does suck. You know, you're, uh, you're two months of good weather. I have two months of bad weather. 
shoot. Yeah, it's a... Uh... You're 10 months of bad weather, I have 10 months of good weather. Well, I'll move up there with you then. See, that's what you gotta do. What we gotta have is just, you know, yeah. back and forth, two places. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that rain falling in the light. <laughs> We're excited about this rain. We don't see rain very often. Wow. I know that sounds crazy, but really? yeah. What does it rain? Well, we maybe once it? a year if we're lucky? It's like maybe two inches a year that we get. Oh, Although we did get a lot of rain this year. We got but... two inches in about three hours ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. When it uh, rains in Havasu, I've never been out It's west. an event. Really? It don't matter <laughs> what time low, it is. Like, if it's in the middle of the night, you and all your neighbors are in your underwear out on the porch with no <laughs> lights on going. Oh. It's raining. Oh my God, it's raining. Rain I'm serious. You have we don't get a whole lot of rain. So we, we've gone, what, two years almost in a row with no rain, zero. Yeah, we didn't even get Not a two. drop. Like, for last two year. year. Two years. Oh wow. Yeah, we have like flood zones around here. Creepy doll. Creepy doll? Yeah. Like yeah, I'm like my monkey that I. Everybody said you should. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's like Chucky oh, creepy. creepy. <laughs> <laughs> they came with it. That's cool. Well, you know, don't separate them. That might be bad juju. So you're yeah. moving from the mouse trap. Mouse trap. Yeah. How so close are you? This is Project uh, Forever. I'm almost done. I got, got it. How long you been working on it? Is it moving around? Seven months, because it's just my content card. I was thinking I was seeing it for a year, but seven <laughs> months. It's been a while, yeah. Did you move it on to Actually, what was it, a no, year it's or two? A was it a <laughs> year ago I met you in... Uh, UCC. UCC in Indiana? Yeah, probably. Yeah. We've arrived to our destination dinner spot. Um, started out this morning. It's a little bit of drizzly rain. We had a few fuel problems. Picked Desiree up at the airport, went to the museum. What a good time. Anyway, we're gonna go get our Airbnb after we eat dinner. Say goodbye to all these good people that's come to hang out. Tomorrow we start our venture north to Decatur, Illinois and uh we'll see how it goes i'm trying to make it to decatur by dark i may or may not make that but uh that's the plan so thanks for watching <laughs>